Digital data storage devices are getting close to their scaling limits and have limited lifespans. Additionally, cloud-based storage systems and data centers are costly and consume too much energy. But synthetic DNA could store vast amounts of data with low maintenance costs for a very long time. Could DNA data storage for archival purposes be available soon? DNA is an unbelievable molecule that provides ultra-high density storage for thousands of years. Actually, the DNA contained within all cells in the human body could store all the movies produced to date in the 21st century 3 billion times over. The Data Storage Crisis 90% of the digital data in our world has been produced in the past two years. Moreover, the pace is stimulating with the growth of search engines, social media sites, intelligent cars, and the Internet of Things. Google receives around 3.5 billion search requests, while WhatsApp users exchange up to 65 billion messages daily. Tesla drivers have reached 3 billion miles driven with autopilot activated and multiple car sensors storing data. International Data Corporation calculates that global data storage demand will grow to 175 trillion gigabytes by 2025. It will exceed the storage capacity of currently available storage devices, such as magnetic tapes, optical disks, and hard drives. These storage devices are getting to their density limits, are damageable, and have limited lifespans. Magnetic tapes that serve as the basis of most digital archives live less than 30 years. Substantial amounts are being spent by public and private companies when transferring data from older storage devices over to newer generations of disks, tapes, and drives. These organizations are frequently turning to cloud-based storage systems. Still, the large data centers of cloud providers are very costly to build require transfers to new storage devices, and consume vast amount of energy. The cloud could be much more costly than anticipated by companies due to migration expenses and security and operating expenses. That's why a better data storage option is needed. And synthetic DNA has been acknowledged as a promising candidate since Richard Feynman released a paper in 1959 describing the possibilities for creating artificial objects similar to those in biology with related capabilities. In 2012, a group of scientists led by George Church at Harvard University turned a 52,000-word book into DNA strands produced in a laboratory to confirm that DNA could store data. In 2017, Janef Ehrlich and Dina Zielinski from the New York Genome Center came up with a new coding system that randomly assigned DNA strings into tiny tagged droplets to achieve significantly greater storage capacity. The researchers operated with Twist Bioscience, a San Francisco-based biology company that has created a new synthesis platform by printing DNA on silicone chips. Nowadays, the science behind storing digital data in synthetic DNA has been solidly established. From bits to molecules, from molecules to bits. The data quantity of DNA is remarkable. Just one gram can store 215 million gigabytes of information. For context, the usual hard drive in a laptop can keep just one millionth of that amount. Computers and organic cells have a lot of similarities. In a computer, information is written in strings of binary digits, bits, ones, and zeros, which, when read, execute programs. In a cell, data is stored in the four nucleotide bases expressed by the letters A, adenine, C, cytosine, G, guanine, and T, thymine. When read, they produce proteins. These bases are found in tiny molecules called deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA. Strung together, these bases create the biological instructions code that governs cells. So, how does DNA storage work? DNA data storage includes two main processes, writing the code with DNA synthesis and reading the code with DNA sequencing. It all begins with a binary code data file translated into the four base pairings, like A00, T01, C10, and G11. These DNA molecules are synthesized letter by letter with enzyme catalysts or chemical reactions and indexed. After the segments are written, they are deposited in a container, regulating temperature and light to maintain stability. Regular options for DNA storage include frozen in solution, dried, or encapsulated in a bead. Then, a targeted section of the DNA strand is decoded by a commercial sequencing machine, initially formed for genome sequencing, and translated back into the initial digital file. Error-solving algorithms are used during the encode-decode methods so that the data is recovered as error-free as possible. DNA as a data storage medium DNA is a highly stable molecule with a half-life of over 500 years. If stored in cold conditions, DNA can remain intact for hundreds of thousands of years. A 700,000-year-old horse's DNA held in the permafrost was sequenced in 2013. 
The information quantity of DNA and its stability are much greater than existing storage possibilities. The digital information within a warehouse-sized data center could be saved in a space roughly the size of a sugar cube and would demand little energy to maintain. Unlike traditional data storage forms, DNA technology will always be important to mankind and will never become obsolete. When adopted broadly, it will not go the way of the floppy disk. The cost of DNA synthesis has considerably dropped in the past decade, and DNA can be ordered on the websites of organizations like Twist Bioscience and Thermo Fisher Scientific. However, the significant constraints on commercial storage are that DNA synthesis and sequencing are still too costly because they are based on organic chemistry methods designed for different use cases and susceptible to a high rate of errors. Research advances. Automation, next-generation DNA synthesizers and sequencers, and enhanced encoding schemes should drive down costs dramatically. For example, we should mention the following breakthroughs. In March of 2019, scientists at Microsoft and the University of Washington declared that they had developed the first totally automated system to store and recover data in synthetic DNA, eliminating the need for laboratory technicians, a critical step in moving the technology out of the research laboratory and into commercial data centers. In a paper released in July of 2020 in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, researchers at the University of Texas at Austin described a new encoding algorithm for DNA data storage permitting more efficient and accurate data recovery. Other forms of DNA storage address replication issues by repeating the code 10 to 15 times over. The scientists found a way to build the DNA in a lattice shape where each piece of data reinforces the next to only be read once. Today, Twist Bioscience synthesizes more than 1 million synthetic DNA pieces on a single silicon chip using semiconductor technology. The company is developing toward the next generation of silicon chips that will let it write 10 gigabytes of DNA on every chip, decreasing the cost of digital data storage significantly. Last year, Twist and Netflix had partnered with Robert Grass, a professor at ETH Zurich, to save an episode of the show Biohackers on DNA. Netflix illustrated that one of the show's concepts was more than just science fiction. Microsoft is planning to save archival data on DNA on its cloud within the next three years. Catalog Technologies declares that it will be making DNA data storage as a service economically feasible soon. Data center operators and cloud providers should already be paying attention to the implications of DNA data storage. Organizations and businesses needing long-term data storage solutions for archival purposes should be inserting DNA into their business plans. What is beyond data centers? Other possibilities for DNA data storage are developing, including the so-called DNA of things. Dot. In Israel, Robert Grass and Yunif Ehrlich want to use DNA data storage to implement all types of lifeless objects, both solids and liquids, with their own memory. At first, the scientists created a 3D printed plastic Stanford bunny, an ordinary graphical test object that included a digital blueprint for its synthesis. The DNA was placed in silica beads for security and then fused into the ink. Five generations of the bunny were manufactured, and after retrieval from a tiny sliver, each contained the memory of the last generation in the digital files. In the following more ambitious experiment, they encapsulated a 1.4 megabyte YouTube video in a transparent plexiglass polymer to be 3D printed into average glasses. The glasses worked okay when worn, but they contained a secret DNA encoded video message. Once again, a small fragment taken from the frames allowed for a full recovery of the file. Information could be collected or concealed in any daily object for future reference or replication. By contrast to the IoT, a system of interrelated computing devices and machines, the DOT creates items that are standalone information storage devices, totally off-grid. Currently, the focus appears to be on objects with long lifespans, such as construction materials, which could hold their own instructions for replication long after traditional data storage methods have been lost or become obsolete. In the future, high interest will develop in keeping sensitive data away from the cloud, more associated with security and privacy matters, and storing massive quantities of information in tiny devices.